Hi, I'm Deontay Wilder, WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'm going undercover on the internet. And it's actually me. Seriously, it's me. First off, Facebook. Congrats. But um, please try at least give us two or three rounds next fight, please. And thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, Carrie, you so you so sweet, but um, unfortunately, me, my saying is, I don't get paid for all the time, honey. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'll try better next time, baby. Thank you for supporting me. Posted, Art James says, "You're earning your way to greatness. Ducks no one and respects the sport. Do you have a clothing line? Or actually, I do have a clothing line. I just started um, with my last fight." with uh, Dominic Brazil, and you can go to DeontayWilder.com or Bomb Squad, spelled with a Z, that's B-O-M-B-Z-Q-U-A-D.com, and you'll find Bomb Squad apparel there. Hey, don't spend your money all in one place. Up next, YouTube. Nerd with Jordans says, I think Wilder would have been a good NBA post player. I used to play sports throughout high school. I played football, basketball, baseball, and I ran track. If I had time for soccer, I would have done it as well too. Coming up in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, my goals was to be a football or basketball player, you know, mainly football because that's what we're, we build football players. But um, I think I would have been a good, good post, NBA post player myself, man, dunking on a couple of people. But God bless me with the talent of boxing. If it could be any sport that I could transition overnight, it would be, I probably would say baseball. More money, less risk. You keep all your money. <laughs> Deontay Wilder versus McGregor, who will win? Ah, man, bad, you know. Unfortunately, that's a fantasy fight, and um, I am way too big for Conor McGregor right now. Did you see what Floyd did to him? You know, it was a great fight uh, in, in, overall, but um, I'm way too big for Conor, and uh, unfortunately, we'll, we'll probably never fight. If it was boxing or MMA, I don't think it would be a chance. You know, consider, you know, I am the hardest hitting puncher in the world, or probably in the history of boxing, period. And, you know, and four ounce glove would probably, it, it, I'll probably seriously hurt someone with four ounce gloves. Uh, and we'll keep it like that. Riddick. R slash boxing says, is there some hitting genius to Deontay Wilder's style? R slash boxing, of course there is. Actually, there is, man. That's, that's a lot of. Genius behind my, my craft, my art, my skill. True story, years ago, my grandmother said I was anointed by God. You know, um, I come up with a very religious family, you know, and uh, she always, you know, be a teacher to me instead of a disciplinary type of grandmother. She said that you're anointed by God. God is trying to use you. And, you know, I think I found my true ability and purpose on earth. And that's to knock people out. Next is Cora. Quora. Quora. Is Deontay Wilder gifted with freak genetics and the hardest hitter of all time? I am. I'm definitely blessed with, with uh, a freak of nature power. You know, I've had it ever since I've known me. Ever since my first fight in the kindergarten, I've been knocking people out. And um, it's just something about it, you know, uh, all seriousness. Sometimes I think about you know, the extent of my power and I don't know the measurement of it. And it sometimes makes me scared that I have it because I know I can seriously hurt someone. Submit. Could Deontay Wilder defeat Muhammad Ali if both were in their primes? You know, when it comes to Muhammad Ali, that is my idol, man. You know, Muhammad Ali is, is one of the reasons why I'm in this sport. He's one of the reasons why, you know, I'm proud to say I'm a heavyweight champion of the world. You know, and to carry the WBC belt, one of the belts that he had, you know. And, you know, Muhammad Ali, he was the man in the heavyweight division, and he'll forever live on in my heart, you know. So, uh, unfortunately, this is a fantasy fight, and I wouldn't want to fight my man. Come on. <laughs> boom -bye -e, Ali! boom -bye -e, Ali! boom -bye -e. Next, how do a skinny... And light boxer like Deontay Wilder compared to other heavyweights have a freakish power from hell. You know, dealing with boxing is so many different myths in here. You know, you have so many different trainers that would tell you 
the proper way to throw a jab or the proper way to throw a right hand, or maybe even the proper way to throw a hook. Even how to fight going backwards, going forward, feet coordination, different things. They always say that you need certain things to progress and prevail in boxing. And for me, many things that they said, Deontay Wilder didn't have, like big legs. They said you had to have these massive legs to have so much power. But me, most of the time when I walk around at a good beach, I see more women have bigger legs than I. So I always like to think that what they say I can't do, I'm gonna show you I can. Why doesn't Deontay Wilder drop down to cruiserweight if he is already so low for a heavyweight? Well, I thought about it before. I thought about being able to conquer another division as well as conquer my own division. I'm already the heavyweight champion in the heavyweight division, and the cruiserweight is just a little bit under, you know, the heavyweight division. So I kind of got bored at one point in time in my career, and I'm like, man, I'm going to cruiserweight. When I said that I had no cruiserweight calling me out, you know, I don't think you know, one want, would be able to want to compete with me. With the power that I have in the heavyweight division, already knocking guys out, you know, you know, over 200 pounds, even someone with over 300 pounds, you know, and I've still managed to knock guys out. I think dropping down to cruiserweight, I'm definitely gonna hurt somebody, that's for sure, you know? And it takes a lot, it takes a while to, to, to drop weight, man. I, I, I swear, I, I lost weight in the Olympics. One time I had to lose two pounds. It was the worst day of my life, okay? So imagine losing seven, 10 more pounds. No thank you. I like to come in the weigh in with a donut in my hand. Instagram! One of my favorites. Grateful King 96 says, where are the boxing video games? I'm saying the same thing, where in the hell is them? I'm looking for the video games as well too, but I think have no fear, because I think video games is coming soon. We got a lot of talks about video games, especially boxing. So um, I'm looking forward to maybe seeing myself, playing myself in a video game. My power better be all the way up to 100. Tata Rick, Tata Rick, how many hours of sleep do you get? I don't get no sleep. I don't get none. You know, I have seven kids. You know, my career is booming. I'm at the top of my, my field right now. I'm constantly going. I'm thinking about buying a private jet because I'm flying so much, you know, and um, the saying is you can sleep when you die. And I think I'm going down that avenue. I'm going to probably sleep when I die because I got a lot of living to do while I'm alive. Next, DJ Solid's Dosh. How do you prepare when you are facing Bronze Bomber? To this day! To this day! To this day! I had to add that on them too, to this day is on there. I always ask myself the same thing, you know? I always ask myself, how, how would I beat myself? And even trying to uh, uh, give a proper assessment of how to beat myself, I can't come up with no kind of conclusion of how. You know, only thing I can come up with is may the best man win. Next, Skylar Santa J. Is LeBron your cousin? <laughs> you know what? True story. Back in 2007, 2007, 2008, during the Olympics, Beijing, people come up to me all the time asking me, Are you LeBron James? To ask for autographs and stuff. James, I love you, James, 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 James. They really thought I was LeBron, you know. That happened to me so many times for, for, for at least about a year or two, you know, and um, it died down and they finally came to the realization that I am the baddest man on the planet. So now they call me Champ Wilder. Next, Twitter. Lightboom says, when Deontay Wilder started making music? You know, music is, is a hobby of mine. So, you know, I like to play around with it, you know, every now and again. You know, music travels around the world and you just never know what message uh, that someone else can relate to and I like to inspire the world with certain creativities that I come up with my words or with my mindset or how I put it and display it so you know music is a big part of my life as well you know and uh, I'm looking forward to the future of exercising my 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 freedom of speech and putting a beat behind it. <laughs> Boxing Form 24 says, your favorite Deontay Wilder fight? The favorite fight would have to be the Spuka, Arthur Spuka fight. I was right here in, 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 in New York at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And uh, Spuka was a Polish guy. He gave, up, he, he, he gave me a great fight. All the Polish, 
you know, in the city came out, you know, they was singing and man, they was hurrahing and, and it was lit until the night round. I sat Spuka up and I laid him down with the, with the big Alabama hammer, you know, from hell. And uh, it landed perfectly on his chin and three to five seconds, I thought I killed him. He wasn't breathing. His chest wasn't um, inflating or deflating. And um, his, his, his girlfriend came up and she said, Arthur, Arthur. And she was crying. I could see it was almost like a Rocky movie. But Adrian came over to the apron <laughs> this time and to make sure he was up. And when Spuka got out of the hospital, he came in into the hotel room, still with a, with a uh, hospital gown on. And he said, Deontay Wilder can't punch her. I want to fight him next. And I just knocked the guy out. So that was hilarious to see him out of the hospital with great spirits, although I felt like I killed him. But it was an amazing knockout. And I think to this day, that's one of my favorite knockouts. Drew says, how does anybody agree to fight Deontay Wilder? Like, you're going to die. <laughs> Man, you know what, Drew? It's a tough business. I can tell you that right now. It's a, it's a tough business. And... Only the brave survives, but there's no other sport like boxing, you know, and you got to give all my my uh, opponents credit just to step in the ring with me because, you know, when you see me fight, you know you're going to be at the edge of your seat because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. And when it's calm, baby, damn, good night. Deontay Wilder interest was dope. Uh, the crown and mask, how much that cost? Uh, you like that crown and mask, huh? Man, I tell you, man, that, that, you know, my whole uniform, um, it was definitely expensive. Um, it was very expensive. You know, my, my main idea is not about the price of it, you know. It's about, you know, what people take from it, how I feel. I'm the type of person that go off of energy. So when you come to a Deontay Wilder event, not only are you going to see a great knockout, but I want people to be, you know, uh, excited about or anxious to see what I'm going to wear to come out to a fight next. You know, it keeps you being able to pay for something more than just see a fight. You know, I like to give you a, a, a show. And for that, I'm going to keep it spicy, I'm going to keep it hot, and I'm going to keep the knockouts coming, baby. That is it. Thank you for your question. Until then, I'm out, baby. Bomb Squad! Yeah!